What's up, guys, and how are you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. We are coming up on Halloween, and I do love this season watching scary movies and horror films and all that sort of thing. Uh, and I do like to put up a review or two around the Halloween season uh, just to get into the spirit of things and, uh, you know, talk about a film that I haven't really talked about on the channel. Uh, last year I went to town, I think last year I posted reviews for The Corpse Bride, Frank and Weenie, maybe even Dark Shadows, Drag Me to Hell. I know there was a lot of movies I talked about last year I put videos up for. Um, this year I don't think I'm going to be posting that many. Uh, this one for sure, obviously, you're watching it now. Uh, Aside from all of that, let's just get started talking about what you clicked on this video to see. And that is my review of Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yes, that's right. I watched the DVD that I bought at Walmart for $5. I think it was $5. This is the director's unrated edition. So this is the two-hour cut of the film I watched. Uh, I did look on IMDb. It looks like there's like a 10-minute shorter version. Might have been the theatrical cut. Not entirely sure, but I am going to get into spoilers in this video if you haven't seen it. Uh, so, you know, definitely make your decision if you want to stick around for spoilers. The movie has been around since 2007, so it's been out for a little while. So, right off the bat, I'll say that I've seen clips of this film in the past, but this was the first time that I watched it from beginning to end. Um, I didn't hate this movie. I know there's a lot of really negative reviews for it that I've seen. Um, but yeah, I definitely didn't hate the movie, but I don't think it's all that good either. Um, this definitely seems like, you know, what it is. I mean, it's a remake of Halloween uh, 1978. Uh, this is a total remake of that. Like the 2018 film was kind of a reboot and a sequel. This is a total remake um, of the original film. And it's a weaker remake. I think, you know, what Rob Zombie did with this film is he kind of gave us a look into Michael Myers as a child. And, like, that's like the first 40 minutes of the movie. We see him killing his family, almost all of his family, uh, getting into the mental hospital, meeting Dr. Loomis, who's actually played very well. By Malcolm McDowell. I think he's the best actor in the film, and I think he gives the best performance. Obviously, the Donald Pleasance, you know, Dr. Loomis is the best, but uh, Malcolm McDowell, pretty good in this movie, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, you see Michael Myers as a child and how he grows up, and I will say that's my favorite part of this movie. Uh, after he kills the family, when he's placed into the mental hospital and he meets Dr. Loomis, there's that like 10, 15 minute chunk where Dr. Loomis talks to him throughout the years and kind of reports on him. And we kind of hear his reports on how he kind of starts to lose his mind almost in this asylum. So basically the newer movies of Halloween kind of say that Michael Myers is just, he is pure evil and he's not fully human he's possessed by something or something's going on there and this film it kind of makes him like a superhuman almost that 15 minute chunk where you get to see michael start to create these masks i thought that was actually really good now there's like the screenplay and the script for the first bit of the movie i thought was the weakest part but once he gets into the hospital that is where I think Rob Zombie brought the originality to the film. Uh, the most originality. And I thought it actually worked. I did like that for this movie. You know, this telling of Michael Myers. But the rest of it is is basically just a, a total remake. I mean, copy and paste, really. Just up to an 11. Say the first movie is at like an 8. This movie jacks it up to an 11. Uh, so it, it was a little overboard a couple times in the film, especially the end of the movie. You know, Laurie Strode is played by Scott uh, Taylor Compton in the movie, and she's okay. She's serviceable. Um, she's obviously not as iconic as Jamie Lee Curtis, but um, she, she does what she has to do in the movie. Um, 
you know, I don't think any of the acting is particularly that great, except for the Malcolm McDowell performance. But uh, yeah, at the end of the film, she's she's crawling through the ceiling. She's in the basement. She's in the attic. She's just all over the damn place. And uh, it just felt a little drawn out to me, the end of the film. It, it does feel a little long. Like, I did see the director's cut, this unrated uh, director's edition of the movie. So this is the two-hour cut. It did feel a little long. So I don't know if the theatrical version, what that cuts out. But I would assume it's stuff in the end of the film, like the last 10 to 15 minutes of the film. Uh, I'll tell you, my other favorite part of this movie is when Michael has Laurie Strode in the basement of the house, of the, the Myers house, and he takes out the picture that his mother gave him in the same asylum. Uh, he shows the picture, and he's basically trying to convey that, you know, hey, I'm your brother. She had no idea. I mean, this is just a random serial, serial killer in a mask, so she was under a lot of stress. But in that time, I just think... Rob Zombie had this, such the opportunity to do something so original that I would have loved. And I was w watching the scene and how everything was playing out and how she decides to stab him and run. I'm thinking, use this to your advantage. Obviously, he dropped the knife. He's showing you a photograph. This guy is not going to hurt you. So do something to get out of there or whatever. Manipulate him to get out of there. and then. You know, then Loomis sees him, and then maybe Loomis shoots him a few times, and he falls into the, the empty uh, pool. Uh, I thought maybe that's how it should have been done. I thought that could have been really cool, but it just kind of goes the cliched route uh, of her running out. Um, and then the end of the film, you know, she supposedly shoots him. I don't know if it's in the face, because the movie just kind of cuts immediately to the credits after the gunshot goes off. You know, she screams for a little bit, and we see the little flashback of uh, her as a baby, I guess. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's obvious problems with the movie. Is this the worst film I've ever seen? No, it's actually better than Season of the Witch, I think. I, I don't particularly like that movie. I own it on 4K, but, uh, you know, I would say I'd watch this over that. This is a three out of five movie for me. Uh, just a flat three. Obviously, it's not as good as the 2018 film. It's not as good as this year's Halloween Kills. And it's not as good as the original. Uh, but I would say it is better than Season of the Witch. I haven't actually seen Halloween 4, 5, 6, however many more there are. Uh, I haven't seen them. So maybe one day I will. I know that 4 and 5 are also on 4K from Shout Factory. I do own uh, the first three films I was able to get the Shout Factory editions of the first three movies. So maybe I'll end up getting uh, four and five eventually as well and checking them out. I haven't seen them, so I haven't been as pulled to, to get them. Uh, the only reason why I bought this on 4K is because I did see the movie and I thought it would be, you know, I just wanted to see how it would look for myself on 4K Blu-ray. But And it, it looks great, actually. But um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Halloween 2007. Guys, what are your thoughts on this movie do you like it? Do you not like it? I mean, it's 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 not horrible. I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. There's some weird things that happen with, with the story and the plot and some of the cliches and how it's just sort of a, a remake, but just more intense, more extreme. Sure. Uh, you know, the music, the score in the film, what'd you think? I think that when the John Carpenter music does play, it's good, but then when it gets a little too, you know, your casual horror movie music, it doesn't feel as special. But guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a bunch of reviews and unboxings and our weekly live show and all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram at KingOfRises131 and Twitter at RyanKing72. And guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my review for Halloween 2007, particularly the unrated Director's Cut. And guys, that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Over and out.